Okay. All right. Well, uh, my name is Mickey, and my husband and I met back in the 1970s, a long, long time ago. We were both college students at the time, and we had mutual friends. When we met, it was like, yes, this is an exciting thing. We both love Jesus. So it was going to school. It was raising children, working in a church. It was very, very intense. Our schedules were crazy. And that's when things sort of started going south for us. And what started happening was that my husband, with his busy schedule, began to be less and less present with us as a family. And there were things that were being said by him to me, don't tell anybody that I'm not here that often. You know, don't talk to anybody. And whatever you're feeling is not as valid because what I'm feeling is more powerful and so therefore my feelings are more valuable than your feelings. And those three signs are really essential. Don't talk, don't trust, don't feel. That is a symbol, that is a real sign of dysfunction that's going on. When I said, we need to get help, he said, no, you're too sick. You need to divorce me because my reputation is at stake. That was the most devastating moment of my life. And at the same time, it was the most freeing spiritually. Because all of a sudden, all I had was God. To this day, my ex-husband has never come to me and said, I'm sorry for what I did. But that didn't keep me from having to be able to forgive him. I've already forgiven. Forgiveness is very available. When you live in a land where forgiveness is available, you're living in God's world. Because God made forgiveness available through Jesus Christ on the cross. I just wish that our marriage had been different. But I want you to know that God is always there whether you recognize him or not. And even in this time of really, really deep pain and sorrow, you can reach out. Now, you don't have to have follow some kind of perfect formula. Just be yourself because God is there. He is the creator. He's the one who made you. He knows you. He knows that this is what you're going through. And the God of the universe cares enough about you to say, please, just reach out. I'm ready. Thank you.